Well, I just saw my oncologist. He is so sweet. Such good people there at the Cancer Institute. Really wonderful people. Very encouraging people. And he's as confused as I am. This is what he had said to me. He went over the reports because I told him I'm confused. I, I don't I don't know what this means. What does this mean? And he said, well, what it means is there's about 15% of people that have cancer that it never shows exactly. It doesn't pinpoint where the cancer is. He goes, for instance, there's no masses in your lungs. He goes, your thyroid looks good. He goes, um, but in one, one of the four lymph noids, it had a marker for cancer. And he said, and the marker is for this area. He goes, it could be your breast. He goes, it could uh, lungs. It could be anything in this area. He goes, but so far, nothing is showing anything in those areas. So I'm going to, well, when I'm done with this call to get scheduled for um, a breast exam, get that taken care of. And, um, but he's sending my tumor off to a special laboratory that does this DNA testing because he feels that I might be in that 15 percentile. And he said it is treatable. He doesn't know how curable or whatever because they don't know what it is. And I told him, well, I'm all good. I don't even need to know any of that. I just need to know what it is and let's get a game plan. Let's get on it. So, um, you know, I was giggling. I said, God has such a sense of humor. He's even like confusing the doctors, right? And I, I knew I was special, but I don't want to be special in this situation, right? I just want it taken care of. And he did say that the lymph nodes are going down because what caused them to swell so bad was that blood clot. And he said with them going down, it's showing him that the blood clot is going down. So all glory to God. I will continue my shots for that. Um, yeah, God is good. God is so good to me. He's so good to you. I um, just, yeah, I think I've had three days uh, where I was just like it, this waiting and waiting. And after talking to him, I'm not crazy. I, I'm just like he is. He, he doesn't know. And, but he said, we are going to figure it out. He goes, we are going to at least pinpoint it down. Um, he did say, he goes, it could be in your esophagus, which I have a spasming esophagus. I've had problems with my esophagus since I could remember. So, um, yeah, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm alive today. I woke up today. And like I told him, I'm more concerned right now about the blood clot. And he said, absolutely, because that will drop me like that. He said, um, it's not showing that this is spreading anywhere. It's not doing any of that. So uh, from the two different tests I've had at two, you know, I think they were like two and a half, three weeks apart. He said, it's not growing. So, which that's a blessing in itself. So I thank all of y'all for your prayers. I'm just so thankful and grateful to God. Um you know, he has me, he has me, he has me. And like I told the doctor, whatever the outcome is, I'm not in control of that. If the Lord wants to take me, he's going to take me. I pray that he gives me mercy and lets me hang out at least long enough to be around for my grandbabies to turn 18. You know, they're 11. So yeah, I just, uh, yeah, God is just good. God's good. And I feel a relief because now there's a game plan. I'm not sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, it's spreading rapidly, like one doctor had said. Ugh. Okay, if y'all don't know, and I appreciate and respect doctors, but if y'all don't know, you don't know, so don't say. So, um, yeah, I just, I, I just feel so blessed. I just feel blessed because now there's a game plan. You know, he told me, he goes, go, enjoy, go, you know, go camping. Because I said I wanted to go camping this week. And he goes, go, enjoy, go do. He goes, you're not going to hear from me. He goes, it, for sure, not next week. He goes, because, he goes, um, we're sending off your tumor and we have to get the okay from the insurance company. He goes, and they'll give the okay to do the scan. He goes, but that could take up to two weeks. He goes, so probably not till a week after. He goes, but in, go enjoy life. And 
we die once, but we live every day. And that has been my focal point the last couple days is, you know, you woke me up, Lord. I'm not taking that for granted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I just want to do an update. I'm just, just so happy. So happy. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm just really happy that there's a game plan going, you know. And then I got to share, there's this sweet old gal. I'm waiting for my labs and she's waiting for hers. And she's like, she was asking me questions and she goes, well, you're awfully young. I said, yeah, I'm only 62. And she goes, yeah. She goes, I'm going to tell you, honey, the most liberating thing I ever did in my life. She goes, when I got this cancer, I stopped coloring my hair and I've been shaving it off ever since. She goes, and it is so liberating. So I said, well, you know, I go, I'm definitely going to be getting this cut. Um, not sure when. But I, I guess once we get a game plan, because he said, I asked him, I said, can I just do pills? <laughs> he was laughing at me. He goes, no. He goes, you're going to, he goes, it's a, a duel that we are going to have to do. He goes, especially if we're not sure where this is centralized at. He goes, some people, he goes, in that small percentile, the cells will hide. He goes, and then when they bust out, they bust out. I better wrap this video up because my phone's about to die. I don't know why it doesn't want to charge right, but that's okay. That's the least of my worries. Absolutely. But I am, I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to go camping for about four days. And then, um, of course, I'll make a video from there. Friends of mine have a spot, and I'm just going to split the cost of it. So it'll cost me $6 so uh, a night, and that's nice. And they have showers, and I'll be able to get in a lot of walks by the lake and just rejoice rejoice in ugh, in our lord man that is just the not knowing is the worst part and i still don't know but i know there's a game plan and i know that this doctor is right on it he's on it and he wants to know he's not just saying okay well let's just do a treatment and i hope we get it he wants to try to centralize it amen amen god is good god is great i pray y'all have a blessed safe holiday weekend and um yeah, don't forget, put God first in everything. I pray for you, and I ask that you pray for me. I'm I'm just so grateful. I'm so thankful and grateful. It's a good day. I'm going to get me an ice cream. Ooh, yeah. All right. God is good. Talk to y'all later. Keep praying. It's working. It's working. <laughs> Talk to you later. This is Gracie. I'm out. Bye.